Welcome to Financial Buzz Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker here at the New York Stock Exchange bringing you a review of this week's stock market. On Monday, stocks were down modestly as August ended and the S&P 500 posted its worst month in more than three years. In addition, the VIX, a measure of volatility, saw a record monthly jump up 135 percent. Investors noted that Stanley Fisher, vice chair of the Federal Reserve, made comments over the weekend that interest rates may rise despite turbulence in China. On Tuesday, China reported continued contraction in manufacturing with their purchasing managers index falling into contraction territory at 49.7. In the U.S., the ISM manufacturing index for August fell to 51.1, below expectations and its lowest level since May of 2013. All of this news led to a very bad day, with the S&P 500 falling 140 points, or almost 3 percent, and all of the major U.S. indices ending in correction territory, more than 10 percent off their 52-week highs. On Wednesday, the ADP employment report for August gained 5,000 to 190,000, and factory orders for July were up 0.4 percent month-to-month, lower than expected. Markets rebounded strongly. On Thursday, the ISM non-manufacturing index for August was down 1.3 points to 59, however still considered very strong and above expectations. Jobless claims for the week ending August 29th were up 12,000 to 282,000. Markets ended the day basically unchanged. On Friday, the highly anticipated non-farm payroll report for August showed jobs increased by 173,000, a solid number, however, below expectations and 72,000 lower than the previous month. The unemployment rate dropped 0.2 percent to 5.1 percent, and average hourly earnings increased 0.3 percent. Markets opened sharply lower on fears of a Fed rate hike. Now let's take a look at some stocks. LinkedIn Corporation caught users' attention Tuesday after the largest social networking website for professionals revamped their messaging service, prompted by requests from users. LinkedIn shares have lost more than 30 percent in value over the last six months, and it appears the company is taking steps towards making their web interface more user-friendly. Google took its first step into the smartwatch market by introducing a new application that connects Android-based smartwatches with Apple iPhones. The app is operational, but functionalities are still limited because it doesn't allow users to sync information with most other apps from the Apple App Store. Synergetics shares were up more than 50 percent on Wednesday after Quebec-based Valiant Pharmaceuticals agreed to acquire the company for $6.50 per share. That's a 48 percent premium relative to Synergetics Tuesday's closing price. Valiant hopes to expand Bausch & Lomb's global business with the acquisition. eBay shares were up slightly on Thursday after receiving upgrades from Piper Jaffray. Jaffray upgraded the stock from underweight to neutral with a price target of $30 per share following the completion of PayPal's spinoff. Twitter shares gained on Thursday as the search for a new CEO continues. The board met recently to discuss candidates. Twitter's co-founder Jack Dorsey has been interim CEO after Dick Costello unexpectedly resigned. This is Financial Buzz Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker and I'll see you again next week.